Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest October 2023 Security Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10, which brought important security fixes, bug fixes, and improvements. And the update is KB5031356 and rolled out on the 10th, 11th of October last week, depending on your region. Now, just to let you know that, unfortunately, um, there are issues with this update. And Microsoft has actually listed this issue where the security update might fail to install as a known issue over on their um, known issues health dashboard page, where Microsoft says that devices might initially display progress, but then fail to complete installation. Now, I have also noticed with this update last week that it took a long time to install, almost two and a half hours on this device, which is not normally the case. So um, I have heard reports that the update did take a very long time to install and now obviously is not installing for some users and and Microsoft carries on to say that some of the most common errors being encountered where the update is failing to install is error 8007000D which is error invalid data that's what the error code is all about and um, if the update is not installing you can find that error on this view update history page now the good news is if you have or were affected by this issue Microsoft has resolved the issue using a known issue rollback, KRR for short. Now, a known issue rollback is nothing you do from your side. You don't have to install another update. Um, It's an important Windows service and improvement um, to support the update, which enables Microsoft to revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered, as in this case where the update is failing to install. And a known issue rollback, as many of you may know, can take up to 48 hours for the resolution to propagate. So what I always do suggest with a known issue rollback is just head to your start and restart your device. That will speed up the process. And um, if the known issue rollback is not working for whatever reason, it should, but if it isn't, you can also follow the manual steps um, to speed up the recovery. So these manual steps include um, just heading to your search, doing a search for command prompt, right click command prompt, run that as administrator, and then entering this command in, which I'll leave down below. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna basically sort out your system and uh, restore your system health. And if the known issue rollback for whatever reason didn't work and you are still affected by this issue, then just run this command. I'll leave it down below, copy and paste it into command prompt, run it as admin as I showed, and that should sort out the problem. And just take note though that this can take a while to run depending on your system. So just take note of that. It can take quite a long time to run, but that should address and fix the issue if the known issue rollback didn't sort that problem out. And that, as mentioned, is is affecting Windows 10 version 22H2 and version 21H2. And that was the problem with last week's security update, KB5031356, where it might fail to install for some users. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.